We're here in 24.2. Uh, I built a Sankey using the 24.2 feature for Viz extensions. Uh, this Sankey is built by tablets, native in Tableau, using a new capability called Viz extensions. Check out my video about that. But what I want to show you is something new to the web authoring experience, and it's only available in web authoring. If I go to the tooltip uh, X section and we go here and I just paste some text that I had from a previous window, you'll see that I have some red underlining right here and right here. That's because in web edit only, you now get a spell check. And the nice thing about this spell check is it only works in certain areas. So in this video, I'm just gonna do a little tour of all the places that I found that it works in. Obviously it works in the tooltip pane. That makes a lot of sense because in this field, Tableau can distinguish between what is a field and what isn't a field. So you can go ahead and correct these, for example, and it will go ahead and uh, remove those underlinings. Now, if I just go ahead and remove those again, and we get those underlinings back, you'll see that the auto correct, the spell check comes up, but it's not sort of native within Tableau. What Tableau is doing here is it's just using the native browser capability to do a spell check. So you can see here, it's just using my Mac native uh, browser interface inside of Arc Browser, where there's a word that it knows about, it does do that now. What this does mean though, is I can use the power of the internet to get the most latest, best sort of spell check. If I use an enhanced spell check uh, here and I go back into it, um, it will actually improve that as well. And I'm sure things like this are gonna get improved with the AI over time. Um, I'm looking forward to see what Apple intelligence might do to my Mac in terms of things like this as well. I might be able to have all this nicely cleaned up. But anyway, it's available here in the tooltip pane. Let's go back out. Um, let's now test the titles. So if I double click the titles and I paste this in here, it's also available in here. So you can see that here, titles and tooltips, that's a good check mark. Now let's actually go do something else. Let's go see if it's available in an access. So um, to do this, I'm just gonna use subcategory. I only need one access to do this test. So I'll go ahead and put sales. And uh, what I should have done is I should have done like a scatter plot, but never mind. We've got the access here. I'll go ahead and hit, hit edit access. And um, in here, uh, if I go and, and type this in, you'll see, there you go again. We've got a spell check right there. So anywhere where there's just text, it seems to be working, informed about how things work. So you can go ahead and correct things even inside of the axis. So we've done the axis, we've done the titles, we've done the tooltips. Let's go check a calculation actually. So let's go ahead and create a calculation. I don't think this is gonna work. In fact, I know it's not gonna work because I did the test this early, I've just remembered. <laughs> and if I go ahead and paste this inside of a comment, you'll see that if I go right to the beginning, and we make sure that this comment is actually correct, you'll see that it doesn't spot it in here. So in the calculation window, it doesn't spot it. Obviously, it's not going to spot it when it's not a comment because, of course, that means it's going to be looking for calculation syntax. So I think it kind of makes sense that it's not in here. But, you know, if I was going the extra mile tableau, I'd, I'd do spell checks inside of comments inside of calculation fields. That would just be chef's kiss, you know, really, really getting attention to detail and pushing it out to another level. So not in the calculation window. We've got titles. We've got the axis. We've got tooltips. Let's go to the dashboard elements. Let's see what else we can get here. If I just drag in a text box, is it going to be in here? I'm pretty much certain it will be. There you go. It's right there. If I drag in, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to dashboard. And this is where I'm like, okay, where is everything in web edit? If I go to dashboard title, it's probably going to be in here. Yes, it is. So you get the idea. Anywhere where there's a text box, that isn't sort of being interfered with a calculation or where the data fills are predictable, it pretty much works because you can see here, you've got sheet name. You could also insert other attributes here and it's gonna work nicely. So um, it's just nice to have this sort of integrated with some of that, which makes me think you could probably do the, the calculation tablet. Like, Come on, let's do that. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's the feature in a nutshell. Now. In terms of uh, why is this not available in desktop, I think it's because this is using native browser capabilities. It's using the browser's own spell check, so Tableau don't have to do the heavy lifting. But this is a long requested feature, and it's a, it's a really big carrot, I think, to get people over into the web authoring experience. Um, I hope it comes to desktop eventually. Um, I don't know why it can't. Maybe they'll they'll wrap this sort of uh, nice Tableau interface uh, into the desktop version, as they have done actually with Tableau Prep. Tableau Prep itself is a wrapper of the web version of Tableau Prep, it's not a native piece of software. I'm fairly certain when I say that it's built on something called Electron. If that's changed, let me know in the comments below. If I'm completely wrong, let me know in the comments below, but I've been saying that for years, including to Tableau, and they've never corrected me. So I'm gonna go with that. So there we go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.